Okay, so uh, I'm not exactly sure how long the discount lasts for the Sacred Treasure Shop, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and make this video and put it out today so that way, uh, I don't know, in case it ends tomorrow, which I don't think it does, I think it's another week, but uh, I could be wrong on that. So here's pretty much what I would recommend for you to do. Um, obviously, if you're using specific units, um, you may want to go ahead and buy some of their cosmetics. Goddess Liz is obviously a very popular one. Uh, you can pretty much, you know, put her on any team. Uh, so if you want to, I don't really recommend going for uh, the costumes quite as much, just because, I mean, they really only boost your defense stat, and that doesn't really equate towards a lot of CC. And I mean, defense is a good stat, but it's not anything that you really have to worry about, like, too much. Uh, I would definitely focus on the weapons a little bit and then mostly you want to go for the cosmetic pieces so the hair or like head pieces so that way you can kind of help boost your CC up a little bit increase your HP for survivability a little here and there so uh, if you want to you can definitely buy some of those I really didn't focus on Goddess Liz I know a lot of people are kind of focusing on uh, the festival units which is completely understandable I definitely understand that uh, it is definitely, you know, a good way to go. I actually have pretty much used all of mine on Droll. Uh, all of the gems that I have spent, uh, I've just invested into Droll for some reason. And I think it's just because I like the way Droll plays. Uh, him, like the green Droll and the blue Droll both have their own sort of use cases. And I kind of like this green Droll a lot. So uh, I just went ahead and ended up buying a lot of his stuff. I went ahead and bought uh, one defense set because uh, I actually just a second ago bought the uh, blue droll out of the coin shop because he's on discount so uh, if any of the coin or if any of the characters that you're trying to invest in uh, you don't have the other character um, such as like the commandments or anything like that if there's the counterpart commandment the uh, other color you may want to try to buy those out of the coin shop sometime soon because they're on discount right now but um yeah, so I went ahead and bought Blue Droll to get some extra costumes and stuff, and then I went ahead and bought all of the weapons out, and then I bought, uh, not all of the hairs, but I bought two of the hairstyles because I can actually get this one from maxing out my um, affinity with Blue Droll, so I'm not too worried about that one. So just kind of look at what you need and what you want to invest into if there's a character that you want to invest into. I'm really big into playing uh, ungeared PvP, so the cosmetics matter a little bit more. Um, than it would if I was playing geared because I mean obviously if you if you're if you're fighting somebody and your gear is absolutely maxed out and their gear is absolutely maxed out uh, the cosmetics are gonna make the difference there but more often than not um, geared PvP is so like like up in the air people run different kinds of builds and this and that so CC can vary a ton on geared PvP so I don't think it's really all that detrimental but I mean obviously it does help for sure but um. Yeah, I mean, if there's any characters that you're looking at specifically, um, I think the Commandments are a really good one because obviously, like, Zeldris is a really good, like, kind of staple character that you can throw on a lot of teams. So if you wanted to, you could go in and buy a bunch of his cosmetics. Uh, if I was smart, I would go ahead and buy this and uh, probably both of these pieces right here, but I just, I don't want to spend many more diamonds than I already have because <laughs> I've already bought quite a few pieces for Droll. And although this is a really good discount and I don't know when the next time they'll bring this back, um, they did say in the dev notes that they're going to try to be a little bit more generous with cosmetics and stuff like that in the future. So hopefully they end up doing another event like this, you know, sometime down the road a little bit. So we, you know, just, I don't know, I would recommend kind of saving right now with all of the banners coming up. But if there is a character that you're kind of looking forward to or, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, you may end up wanting to, you know, buy a couple of cosmetics for them because uh, it, it's definitely going to help out your CC a little bit, kind of help pad their stats some. So uh, that is pretty much it. I don't really have anything else to go over for this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more content in the future. Uh, let me know who you're going to try to, you know, upgrade a little bit because I've just been enjoying uh, Blue Droll or Green Droll. I really like Ludo CL, but unfortunately I went ahead and bought all of his cosmetics before the discount started, which was really dumb, but I didn't know it was coming, so that's a little unfortunate. I, I wish I would have waited. Uh, if, you, if you haven't invested into Ludo CL and you have him, he would actually be a character that would be really good to you know buy the, the cosmetics for because he, he can really take advantage of it, but uh, that's only if you're really willing to like wail out on him, so uh, I don't know. That's definitely up to you, but anyways, see you guys in the next video.